few air forces generate as much polarized online debate as Turkey's. Some critics dismiss Turkey's air force as outdated, weakened, or even irrelevant. Others argue that Turkey is quietly building one of the most adaptable air forces in NATO. The truth lies far beyond internet memes and political soundbites. Turkey's air power story is one of disruption, recovery, and strategic ambition. Understanding it requires separating capability from perception. Turkey's air force was once considered a cornerstone of NATO's southern flank. For decades, it operated one of the largest fleets of F-16 fighter jets in Europe. These aircraft formed the backbone of Turkey's air dominance doctrine. Highly trained pilots and frequent NATO exercises reinforced its credibility. However, everything changed after 2016. The failed coup attempt triggered massive institutional upheaval. Hundreds of experienced pilots were dismissed or arrested. This created an immediate pilot shortage. Operational readiness suffered as training pipelines struggled to recover. Critics seized on this moment as proof of permanent decline. Yet, the story did not end there. Turkey responded by restructuring its training system. New pilot recruitment programs were accelerated. Simulator-based training was expanded significantly. Within a few years, pilot numbers stabilized. Flight hours gradually increased again. While experience gaps remained, collapse was avoided. Another major blow came with Turkey's removal from the F-35 program. This decision followed Turkey's purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense system. Losing access to the F-35 was a strategic setback. Turkey lost both fifth-generation aircraft and industrial participation. Many analysts declared Turkey's Air Force finished at this point. However, such conclusions ignored Turkey's long-term defense planning. Turkey did not abandon modernization after the F-35 exit. Instead, it doubled down on domestic solutions. The TFX Khan fighter program became a national priority. Khan aims to deliver a fifth-generation aircraft with stealth features. While still in development, early prototypes have already flown. This alone challenges the trash narrative. Developing a fifth-generation jet is beyond the reach of most countries. Even partial success would place Turkey in a rare group of aerospace powers. In the meantime, Turkey modernized its existing fleet. The F-16 Osgar Modernization Program upgraded avionics and mission systems. Indigenous AESA radar reduced reliance on foreign suppliers. Electronic warfare capabilities were significantly enhanced. These upgrades keep Turkey's F-16s relevant into the 2030s. Air combat is not only about fighters. Turkey has built one of the world's most advanced drone ecosystems. Bayraktar TB2 drones demonstrated effectiveness in multiple conflicts. The Akinji drone expanded capabilities with heavier payloads. These platforms provide intelligence, strike, and electronic warfare roles. They also reduce pressure on manned aircraft. Few air forces integrate drones as effectively as Turkey. This integration reshapes how air power is applied. Turkey's experience in real-world conflicts adds further depth. Operations in Syria, Libya, and the Caucasus provided combat testing. Lessons learned were rapidly fed back into doctrine. Many NATO air forces lack recent combat experience. Turkey does not. Air defense is another critical dimension. Turkey operates layered air defense systems. Domestic projects like Hisar strengthen short and medium range coverage. Despite controversy, the S-400 adds long-range detection capabilities. 
integration challenges exist, but capability cannot be dismissed. Turkey's geographic position also matters. It borders unstable regions on multiple fronts. This forces continuous operational readiness. Air Force units must respond rapidly to evolving threats. Such pressure accelerates adaptation. Critics often compare Turkey unfairly to global superpowers. Turkey is not the United States or China. It does not need to be. Its strategic goals are regional, not global. Within its region, Turkey remains a serious air power. NATO interoperability remains strong despite political tensions. Turkey continues to participate in alliance exercises. Its pilots regularly train against advanced adversary simulations. This preserves tactical relevance. Budget allocation also tells an important story. Turkey continues to invest heavily in aerospace research. Defense industry independence is a core objective. This reduces vulnerability to sanctions. Few countries pursue this path successfully. Public perception often lags behind reality. Online narratives exaggerate weaknesses while ignoring strengths. Trash is an easy label, but a lazy one. No Air Force is without challenges. Turkey faces engine development hurdles. Export restrictions slow progress. Political tensions complicate procurement. Yet, momentum continues. Rising does not mean flawless. Rising means adaptive, determined, and evolving. Turkey's Air Force is not collapsing. It is transforming under pressure. History shows that pressure often produces innovation. Turkey's trajectory suggests recovery rather than decay. The coming decade will be decisive. Khan's success or failure will shape perceptions. Drone warfare leadership will expand further. Modernized F-16s will bridge the gap. Calling Turkey's Air Force trash ignores reality. Calling it unstoppable would also be wrong. The truth lies between hype and dismissal. Turkey's Air Force is neither broken nor perfect. It is a force in transition, and transitions are often misunderstood.